Today we're going to explore that change is inevitable, but growth, that's optional. Let's take the first step. That's the only way you're ever going to do it. It's gonna be a silly question, but have you ever noticed that everything changes? Technology changes at a breakneck pace. Your community changes. You leave for a week, come back, there's a new store that's been built. Friendships change, seasons change, your body changes. The challenge is that many of us think that change equals growth. Growth, is, it's a conscious choice. Growth is about adapting to those changes in ways that will serve you and others. Many of us, though, are so scared of change that we're not willing to take the steps to grow. You know, we fear change just because it's different. We fear change or we avoid change because we've been taught that that's just how it is. But again, change happens. You know, if we look at our society anywhere from a personal level to a global level, relationships change. If you don't, the relationship ends. Economic situations change. If you don't grow, if you don't adapt, you're going to find yourself in trouble. You know, the way that we operate globally changes. And if you don't educate yourself, take that responsibility to learn how to interact in that new global community, you're going to find yourself struggling. So how can you become active, become aware that you need to grow or that you desire to grow. First thing is you become uncomfortable in how life is. And then you make that conscious choice that you are going to adapt. I'll give you an example of, of growing. What I like to refer to is creating the grandest vision of yourself. When you decide that you are taking responsibility and you're looking at growing, you need to create a vision of who it is that you desire to be. And I'm not talking about your complete life vision. That can be so overwhelming that you never want to sit down and even begin to go, okay, my life, my relationship, my finances, my health. Pick one area, just one. Take, take one small bite. The example that I want to share for me was my life as a musician. I was living in Pennsylvania. I had recorded a demo tape that had been getting great reaction from people in the musical community. I had interest from a manager who used to manage Don McLean, the uh, singer that was famous for American Pie, and uh, a music publisher who worked for MCA Records in New York City. And they were interested in my music and they asked me to move closer to New York City so they could see how I developed as a singer and a songwriter. Well, that was change. Change was being offered to me. But I decided not to just go with the change, I decided that I was going to grow, that if I was going to move from the small pond to the big ocean, I needed to step up my game. So I had to create the grandest vision for myself of who I was going to be as a singer and a songwriter. So I started listening to all the CDs that I had. Um, and I looked for who was the singer that just impacted me the most. And at that time, Richie Sambora, the guitar player for uh, Bon Jovi, had released a solo album. And when he sang, I felt every note and I said to myself, if I'm going to do this, I want to be able to make people feel the way that I feel when he sings. So I looked at the liner notes and I found out who his vocal coach was and I went and studied with her. I listened to production of other albums and you know, heard music the way that I wanted my music to sound. I created the grandest vision and I found a producer who did one of those albums and went to work with him. I created the grandest vision for myself and worked towards it. Now, there's some other steps I'm not covering here in my own personal story, but we're going to cover them for you right now because a lot of people are going, okay, that's great. Work for you. How do I do it? Well, here's specifically how you do it. I want you to pick out one area of your life just one specific area right now. It could be your health, it could be your finances, it could be your relationship, it could be your job. You pick out one area. Take a moment right now and let's do this together. Take a moment and pick out one area that you are committed to growing in right now. You can pause this if you have to, I'll wait. Now that you've isolated that area, 
This is going to take a little bit longer, so you definitely might want to pause this or you might want to write down the things that I'm going to go through with you and come back. But I want you to now create the grandest vision for yourself. You know what? Pause it now and just go and create the grandest vision in that area. I'm going to say specifically in health, just to give you an idea of how this is going to work through. I want you to, to, to imagine what your ideal body weight would be, or maybe your body fat, if that's what you're familiar with, or what, what pants size or dress size you would be wearing. You know, imagine the vision of how you would be in the most ultimate example you can imagine for yourself. What would the grandest vision for you in your health be or what area you've specifically chosen? Create that right now. Again, pause this and come back later after you've done it. Now, after you've created the grandest vision of yourself, here's what I want you to find out. I want you to ask yourself, what would I have to believe to be that person? What do I have to believe about myself? What do I have to believe about what's possible? What do I have to believe possibly about other people if it's regarding my finances or my job? What would I have to believe globally as possible? Just ask yourself to be that grandest vision. What would you have to believe? Again, I'm going to give the example of health. Maybe you have to believe that I have the ability to eat healthy meals every day, or I have the ability to exercise in a way that lessens my body fat and builds my muscle mass. What are the belief systems specifically to what you're working on right now? Now the next question you need to ask is who do I have to be? Because becoming that grandest vision is about being that person now, not waiting until you get there, but starting being that person right now this moment, being the person who does exercise every day, being the person who does look at the food that they're eating and going, is this healthy or not? Who do you have to be in this moment to move towards that grandest vision of yourself? Next thing I want you to ask yourself is, how do I need to act? Maybe you need to not go out and party on Friday night, and maybe you need to study. Maybe you need to remove some bad habits. How do you have to act to become the grandest vision of yourself? And write these things down, because this is going to be the fuel that moves you forward. Another thing that may not seem to be a big deal, but it is very important is, how do I need to communicate to achieve this grandest vision? If it's in your health, you may need to watch what you say about yourself. You know, well, I can't do this because Change the dialogue you have with yourself. I can do this because I'm committed, and I'm committed to no less than the grandest vision I have for myself. What do you have to believe? Who do you have to be? How do you have to act? And how do you need to communicate to become the grandest vision? You deserve these things for yourself. Just take one area of your life right now, focus on that, and after you have mastered this, you can apply it to other areas of your life. People are asking, what's this have to do with becoming self-aware? It's about becoming aware that growth is your choice. If you do not take responsibility for your own growth, life will take you bouncing off walls on this journey. Be aware that growth is your responsibility. So I look forward to hearing about the grandest vision that you've created for yourself. I look forward to hearing about the resources that you use to become this grandest version. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.